give the people some advice on working while in nursing school. Okay, what, what am I talking about? So, being president. Okay. How do you survive nursing school while raising kids? What up, YouTube? Are you listening? Nurse Pass. Beast Mode. Grind it. Yeah. Yeah. It's your boy Brad back with another video. And what I figured I would do today is take you guys with me. Just show you what a day in the life of a nursing student is like, I guess. Or the day in the life of Nurse Bass, or whatever you want to call it. I'll admit, I've been up now. It's about uh, 10 a.m. I've already been up for about four hours. No, two hours. Scratch that. Been up for about two hours. Done ran and got my hair cut. Boy looking fresh. Shaved. Uh, had breakfast. A little bowl of cereal, banana. You know, on that uh, diet and exercise grind. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. You can feel that uh, that nice crisp fall breeze. Anyway, about to drive to school. Uh, Got to meet up with some of my classmates because we have a project that is coming up, a group teaching project, and got to get ready for that. We're going to be doing it on the renin angiotensin aldosterone system. Very important concept. If you don't know it, you need to learn it, and I actually did a video on it. Renin angiotensin aldosterone system. Go check it out. Anyway, gonna go meet up with them. We're gonna uh, do a little pre-game on that and figure out what, who's gonna do what and how we're gonna do it. And then today I got uh, some NCLEX prep stuff that I'm doing. That's part of your senior semester. For those of you who don't know, you have that to look forward to. Some Kaplan NCLEX prep. Then I've got a little skills lab and then we got lecture later on. So I'm gonna be on campus from about 11 a.m. until 7 p.m. And after that, we're gonna go work out because we grinding, baby. Stay tuned. This is going on YouTube, by the way. No. I'm doing like a vlog for the whole day and letting everybody. Jasmine, Jasmine, this don't walk away. I've got coffee and I... pumpkin pop tarts, and I'm excited. And we're talking about the renin angiotensin aldosterone system. So, okay, so again, this is saying um, we're in a hypovolemic state, right? That's why we're thinking we need to increase our blood volume, uh, we need to increase our blood pressure. So I say that this comes from a two-pronged attack. You, you do it from vasoconstriction and you also do it by increasing, actually increasing the amount of volume you have in your vessels. Okay. Renin comes from the kidneys, angiotensinogen from the liver. They combine to produce angiotensin 1. Angiotensin 1 is a vasoconstrictor, but it's very uh, dilute, if you will. It's not concentrated, it's not potent. It needs to get converted into angiotensin. What up guys? So uh yeah, got finished meeting up with my group, got finished with our Kaplan NCLEX prep class for the day and our little skills portion. We were talking about wound vax and all kinds of different JP drains, hemovax, all kinds of different tubes. Um it's lunchtime for me now. About actually it's 3 3 p.m. on the dot. Going to get some food, baby. Make it your mouth full. Yeah. Here. Give, give the people some advice on working while in nursing school. Don't do it. <laughs> no, you just have to have good time management skills. Especially having two jobs. Yeah, you just have to have good time management skills because bills have got to be paid regardless. So it's not like I can just quit. So. So how do you do it? Give them some advice. Get good sleep mm -hmm. and plan out days ahead of time that you're going to study. So, like in my planner, I have set out days that I do like Kaplan questions and case studies and stuff like that. That's good advice. Mm -hmm. 
No, that's okay. Miles will just. Hey guys, this is Patty. How y'all doing? So I'm gonna put her on the spot. I got a question today, just today, and the person was asking, how how do you survive nursing school while raising kids? One day at a time. Uh -huh. Prayer and one day at a time. <laughs> do you got any advice for them as far as like your routine, what you have to do on a daily basis with the kids and how you, how you time manage? Prioritize. Yeah. Get help. Ask for help. Yeah. Yeah. What if, what about any single moms out there? You have any idea for them? I have no clue, but I figured I need to ask somebody who yeah. is at least a parent. Just prioritize. You gotta get. You gotta put it in perspective. You gotta schedule your time for yourself. Get babysitters. Yeah. Yeah. Do what you gotta do to make the dream work. That's right. If you want it bad enough, you make it work. There you go. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Patty. All right. She's the best. About time for lecture. And then, hey man, I'm trying to shoot a video over here. <laughs> hey man, whenever you see this video, I am, uh, I'm going to do a live YouTube video probably on, what up Kishana? I'm going to do a live YouTube video on uh, the YouTube channel probably on Thursday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um doing a Q&A. So I've posted it on the Facebook, on Snapchat and Instagram, but if you want to ask a question, either be tuned when I'm live or leave it in the comments and I might answer it. I'm gonna go over here and talk to the president real quick. Hey man, you wanna talk for a minute? Being president. What are you talking about? You wanna talk for a minute, man? Okay, what, what am I talking about? So, being president. Okay. So, for all, uh, anybody out there who wants to be president, wants to hold some kind of, uh, what's the word for the, for the officer Position. role? Yeah. <laughs> what, what advice do you have for them? Because you applied to be president and now you're actually president. And I'm sure you weren't expecting everything that's being thrown at you now. No. No, uh, not at all. Very, um, very time. You need to be flexible. I hate that word. <laughs> but you need to be loose. You need to be objective. Yeah. And you need to be clear, level-headed. You need to listen to everybody. Yeah. Um, because it's not all about you. And sometimes you have to drop the hammer. Yeah. Oh, and of course you do. But it's definitely time-consuming. Um, oh, more than I think either one of us when we went for it. No, yeah, certainly. I would have definitely given it up. Had I I'm glad it. I lost. Um, I, I would have. <laughs> <laughs> one other question I have is, uh, I asked Kristen this already, but since I got you here as well, um, so you're, you're president, so you have a lot of time constraints there. You're in nursing school, a lot more there. How do you juggle that, all that, and work? And how have you done it? Time Maybe, management. Yeah. Um, I can get a little amount of sleep and still function. Yeah. But um, I definitely have to prioritize. I do a lot of multitasking with school and communicating with the other officers as well. Do you still work full time? I do work full time. How the hell do you work full time in a nursing program? Because well, <laughs> I get these questions. I, I also, I mean, I work in the ER, so at the same time I'm working, I do get some time, some downtime, so I can do some homework. Yeah. And I'm also able to communicate with the other officers and also with the classmates via the Facebook. Yeah. Social media helps out a lot. I'll be honest with that. So, so I do get time to do homework, but I'm not working like I used to remember. I work 24-48. Yeah. So 36 hours to me is like a part-time job. Time management, prioritization, relying on your classmates. Classmates is key. Yeah. If we weren't a tight family, yeah. you couldn't do it. Develop those relationships early on for those of you about to be in nursing school or you are uh, in your beginning semester. Develop that and lean on each other. I tell them that all the time. Yeah. Appreciate you, Scotty. Yeah, man. Go Mets. Go back. Right, wrap this video up. Um, the day's basically over. Just got out of the lecture. I'm going to work out here in a minute. It's looking kind of gloomy out here. What do you think? I don't like storms. If anybody wants to see another episode of yeah, that's a better angle. If anybody wants to see another episode of Ask Bass with Kristen in it, let me know. She's been itching to do one. She said, "When am I going to get to do another video with you?" <laughs> All right, she didn't really say that. But anyway, um, so yeah, that's that's a day in the life of Nurse Bass, of the nursing student. Um, coffee's keeping me going right now. Pretty tired, but got to go work out. Got to eat dinner. Wake up and do it all again tomorrow. 
Nurse Kristen and Nurse Bass, soon to be. Catch you on the next one. One day at a time. Uh -huh. Prayer and one day at a time. <laughs>